Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julie. I am a mom to five. Today's video though has nothing to do with parenting or homeschooling like a lot of my content here on my channel is. Today I'm going to be sharing a spring clothing haul, spring summer clothing haul for myself. I typically share uh, clothing hauls for the kids, but uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and share with you guys what I have bought for myself this year. I don't always need much as we are switching seasons. This year I felt like I needed a few extra pieces. My sizing has kind of changed. I got rid of like 10 skirts probably and a few pairs of pants that are just too tight. I think I just need to move up a size um, in bottoms. So in the fall, I will definitely be buying uh, a few new pairs of pants and stuff as well. It's so annoying to switch sizes just because you need new clothes. Also just going through pregnancies and postpartum and changing sizes and stuff, it's nice to feel like, okay, I think this is my size for a long time now. And so anyways, I did buy a few things for the summer. I'm gonna go ahead and show those to you. Also, I'm gonna do a little bit of a try on. You'll see uh, throughout the video of me trying on some of these articles as well. This haul is from quite a few different stores. I don't shop a lot at Old Navy. I find their um, clothing quality sometimes isn't the best. One thing I do like there is bottoms, like shorts, pants, skirts, I find to be quite good quality. And so I did buy myself a pair of denim shorts, cutoffs. They're a really nice length, a nice high waist as well. I really like the fit of these. Most of the things I'm gonna show you today are still have tags on them because we're kind of just getting into nicer weather here in Ontario. I also bought myself this black denim skirt. I was so happy when this arrived that I like it. Um, it's a really nice knee length skirt. It has a bit of distressing on it as well, like around the pockets. And I have figured out with black denim that it is a stiffer fit than typical blue denim. So I always make sure when I am buying black denim to size up. I also like a lot of the dresses at Old Navy. I like to shop online. So everything, oh, one, I have one thing to show you today. One purchase that was in store, not online. Everything else was online. So whenever I shop online at Old Navy, I like to buy their dresses in the tall size. I am not that tall, I am 5'6", but I find their regular length dresses are often a bit above the knee, whereas if I buy their tall dress, then it's more just above the knee or hitting my knee. And so this is a really pretty, I love their swing dresses. They have them in tank style, they have them in short sleeves. I even have a couple of their long sleeve swing dresses. Really nice. I feel like I don't often see this color of tie-dye, so this is one of my new dresses for the summer. Next I will show you my one in-store purchase. So I went to our local Winners. Um, if you're in the States, it's I don't think you guys have Winners. I don't think, but it's similar to uh, Marshalls or Ross. So more brand name products, but at a discounted price. And I found this dress, which I love. White and like, like a grayish blue stripe has a little ruffle detail at the bottom, a tie waist, a nice high neckline. Really, really looking forward to wearing this dress. Really lightweight too. I bought a couple of things from Gap. So I imagine wherever you are, whether you're in US or, the, or Canada, it's probably the same. But here where we are, when you order at Old Navy or Gap, you can order at both stores and get your shipping together. So if I'm making an order at Old Navy, I'll often look on the Gap side as well. I do really like the quality of clothing at uh, Gap compared to Old Navy. So I bought this top for myself. I previously, I think last summer, bought this exact same top in black and I love it. So I saw this one in a white black stripe and bought it as well. I don't think I quite like it as much as the black one. I don't know why I don't like it quite as much, but I have worn it a couple times and it's just really nice and comfy, can be easily dressed up or down. And then at Gap, I also bought this dress, really comfy, casual dress. It's a navy blue and white stripe. It has that v-neck in both the front and the back. I guess I'm actually showing you the back now that I realize it. And um, the shoulder straps are just tie on. It hits close to my knee and it's just a really comfy cotton dress that will be really nice for hot summer days. 
I, for the first time, made a purchase at Shein. I had never shopped there before. I've seen their advertisements all the time and their clothing is so cheap, uh, but I thought I would just try, experiment, and buy a couple of dresses there. So each of these dresses came to like maybe $20. So two floral dresses, like church dresses. So this one has this ruffly neck. I love that detail and the ruffle sleeves as well. A bit of a cinched waist. I love the floral pattern on this one. And then a full A-line knee length skirt. I also bought this dress. This one, I've only tried it on once. I'll have to try it on again and see. Um, I, I like it. I'm not quite certain about the sleeves. Okay, I'm trying to get it forwards, then I'll actually show you. The floral pattern is pretty nice. Uh, the skirt fits well and everything. The upper body fits well, but it has this puffed sleeve. And I don't know why, but the way it fits on my shoulder, I just feel like looks a little bit funny. But like I said, I only tried it on the once and stuck it in my closet. So I'll try it on again and see if I've changed my mind. I could always wear like a jean jacket over it or something. Um, but those are my two purchases from Sheen. Having done that once and them only being like $20 dresses, I probably would do it again. A store around here where I like to shop for... Um, tops is Marks. Uh, I'm thinking that's a Canadian store. I don't think it's in the US, but I bought a few tops there this year. They are quite inexpensive. Actually, all the shirts that I'm going to show you, I have five shirts from there. Uh, they were all on really good sale too. So I bought all five shirts together online and I believe it came to about $60. So just over $10 a shirt. So this first one is a tank top. Now that I've gotten this tank and realized how nice it fits, I kind of want to go back and buy another color because I really like the fit. Just perfect coverage for summer and it's the only tank I bought myself for the summer. So we'll see. I might later on buy another color as well. I bought this just t-shirt. It's really just casual, just a cotton t-shirt, but I like when my shirts have just a little bit of extra detail more than just a t-shirt does. So it has the roll tab sleeves and then at the front, at the bottom, it also has this, um, not showing this very well, but this little tie at the waist. So I got this one. I also didn't get it out, but I got, um, this exact same shirt in an army green as well. The other two tops I got from there were just blouses. So this one's like a mustard color blouse with a tie up. Again, it can be dressed up or down. I would gladly wear this to church with a skirt, but I could also wear it with a pair of jeans for a date. And then I got this one. I really like this one. I think this blouse is my favorite. It has the ruffly sleeves. It has the, I don't know what you'd call this, like a split neck, I guess. It comes up pretty high, but then it splits. And as you can see, I have the price tag still on this one. So I got it for $11.88, originally $40. I love when I can stock up on a few things that are uh, good quality items like that, but I get them on such a good, such a good price. Oh, okay, totally mixed up. I did actually get this shirt out. I thought I didn't, but I did. This is the same one with the, the tie waist. This one's just untied right now as that striped shirt. Okay, my very last item, this uh, shirt. Um, I got lots of shirts, didn't I? Um, when, when I was making one of my purchases for the kids from H&M, I just thought I'd look over at the women's side. I probably needed to get one more item for free shipping or something. And I found this t-shirt. I love this color of pink so pretty has the rolled up sleeves and this is a tunic so it's nice and long I love it because I've been wearing it I've worn it a few times already with just a pair of black leggings it covers my bum it's such a nice fit such a comfy top after I got it and tried it on I was like oh my goodness I need to buy another color uh, in this shirt and I went on to their site and they only had white and black which neither one I really wanted um, but I would love it H&M if you came out with a couple more colors of this top. All right, that's it for my spring summer clothing haul. I think I have about all I want. I might want to get one more pair of shorts because again, when I pulled out all my summer clothes, I knew, I knew that a lot of my shorts would be too tight. And I think I got rid of three pairs of shorts that were just so tight on me. <laughs> 
Anyways, other than that, I think I'm pretty good for summer clothes. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed something different, seeing what I bought for myself, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.